Before we introduce our next guest, let's set the stage. Cody Rhodes is still the World Heavyweight Champion on Raw, providing some stability after a tumultuous period that saw several champions come and go. I don't understand why we do these recaps. Our audience watches the product. Nonetheless, I'll play ball. On SmackDown, after continuing to dominate, the dark horse has become the workhorse, now holding the undisputed WWE Universal Championship for three plus years. Didn't Miz and Roman Reigns think the champion stint would only last three days? And now he's approaching Roman's record-setting run. <laughs> Unbelievable. Why don't we ask Miz about that misguided prediction right now? Please welcome our guests, the SmackDown and Raw general managers, The Miz and William Regal. First of all, I take offense to the accusation that I ever doubted my champion. I know to pick a horse, and in this case, I was behind the dark horse since day one. That's rubbish. You never wanted him to be champion, and you've done everything in your power to try to put an end to his reign. Don't insult the audience, Mike. They watch the product. That's what I've been saying. You want to do this, Regal? At least I have a cohesive show. No one can keep track of what's going on on Raw. It's like a freaking middle school play. Guys, come on. How do you even know what's happening on your show? You're too busy of filming episodes of your terrible reality show that no one watches. You just think you're better than me because you've made a living on the myth that you're some kind of technical wrestling genius. Well, I'm here to tell you, no one who matters cares. I agree with some of what you said. I am better than you. That's why they made me the general manager of the A-Show. Okay, maybe we take a break, yeah? No, we're not finished here. You think Raw is the A-Show? Yes, I do. But we can officially answer that question in the ring at Survivor Series. War Games! Fine. SmackDown will see you and beat you at War Games. You're pathetic. We'll see who's pathetic, mate. Okay, let's get to that break. I am absolutely done with that overrated, blubbering British buffoon Regal. He thinks Raw is better than SmackDown? Well, at War Games, the blue brand will reign supreme, especially with you as our team captain leading the way. Hold on. Did you just name me SmackDown's team captain? Yeah, why wouldn't I? You're our champion. You've had the title on lockdown for years now. Yeah, despite everything you've done to try to take it from me. I mean... I assumed you were going to pick anyone but me. Where is this coming from? You sound like Regal. I've been Team Dark Horse since the beginning. Man, I am shocked you think I feel that way. Whatever, Miz. Who else do you have to round out our side? I got your old BFF Finn Balor on board. You're welcome. And even better, I'm going to let you choose your other two teammates. See? Told you I'm on your side. I still find that hard to believe. So Finn and two other partners of my choice. I'll see what I can come up with. Great. Make sure you to choose carefully, though. Since Raw has all champions and an established faction making up three quarters of their team. But no pressure. You got this.
You here to spy on me, Troy? No. I'm here on behalf of Miz to make sure you're staying on task. To recruit two teammates for SmackDown Survivor Series War Games team. So have you done that yet? Uh, Survivor Series will be here before we know it. So come on, go find some teammates now. Or we'll have to choose for you. Thanks, Troy. What would I do without you? I'm going to get right to the point. You need me for war games. Okay, I'll cut to the chase too. I'm 3-0 against you. So what makes you think you're worthy of being part of Team SmackDown? I've been in two war games matches, which is two more than your zero. And Finn, he's never been in one either. You need my experience. In fact, you guys should be begging me to join your team. I don't know about all that. And even if I did want you on our team, I don't think there's any way I could trust you. You don't need to trust me. I'll be your hired gun. You tell me who to take out, and I'll get the job done. I'll think about it. No, I meant that literally. Tell me who to take out, and I'll go do it. I shouldn't have to, but if it proves you need me for war games, then I will. Okay, fine. But I want you to do this in an actual match, not attacking someone from behind, like you usually do. Whatever. Just name an opponent. Go try to beat Damien Priest. Then we'll talk. Done. Kevin Owens always has a malicious look in his eye, but tonight I'm seeing an extra violent twinkle. Now, there are rumors that the WWE Universal Champion is looking at Kevin Owens for a possible War Games partner. Kevin is out to prove himself as one of SmackDown's best weapons against Raw. Well, KO didn't do himself any favors when he picked this opponent. He's got a tough hill to climb to prove himself here tonight. And a oh, neck breaker! Goodness. That was nasty. Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. <laughs> Hooked up, DDT! <laughs> this... Uh-oh. He takes control! What a knockout punch! Oh, man! <laughs> Into the neck breaker! Just look at KO taking control here. Yeah, now Priest has to fight against the momentum again. No! Slingshot sent on, yes! A roll of the dice and it pays off in full. Yeah. Kevin Owens clearly not afraid of a little fight. Oh, 
Fighters putting their haymakers on autopilot right now. What a counter. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Oh, brutal form. He's getting pushed down into the defensive. Yeah, as we're getting deeper in, that prize fighter instinct of Owens had to have kicked in there. The people came to see the KO show. Uh-oh. Stop Will that stop Priest? Great officiating as the ref noticed he was on the ropes. Oh, kick right to the gut. Now watch the precision with this seated punch. My goodness. And the momentum's clearly against Priest now. This has become all Owens. Pulled back into the hip toss. Oh, my, what a splash. Looking for the victory. Two. And finally, finally, he picks up the victory. Here is your winner, Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens brought it tonight, and it led to victory. I got to hand it to KO. He brought out the prize fighter in him to win this match. Finally, you see it my way, Byron. You here to spy on me, Troy? No. I'm here on behalf of Miz to make sure you're staying on task. To recruit two teammates for SmackDown Survivor Series War Games team. So have you done that yet? Survivor uh, not Series quite. will be here before we know it. So come on, go find some teammates now. Or we'll have to choose for you. Thanks, Troy. What would I do without you? You here to spy on me, Troy? No, I'm here on behalf of me. Actually, Excellent. I I like the group I've assembled. Team SmackDown is ready for war games and whatever else Miz has planned. Good. I'll let the boss know.
We're cutting away from Cody Rhodes' title defense because SmackDown superstars have invaded backstage. Is this part of their War Games team? Luckily, Luke Gallows is here to back up his partner. Let's get back to ringside as we monitor this developing situation. Cody Rhodes has successfully defended his World Heavyweight Championship, but has no idea what's transpired backstage during this match. Well, he's about to find out now. I think this is the debut of SmackDown's War Games team. And what a lineup they've assembled. This doesn't look good for the American Nightmare. He's in trouble. He might not even make it to War Games. And there's their captain, the WWE Universal Champion. Cody Rhodes is surrounded. Hold on. Cody has backup. It's his Survivor Series teammates. Well, at least some of them after Carl Anderson was taken out. This is about to explode. Here we go. Hold on. Not on my bloody show, gentlemen. Save it for war games. Come on, Regal. I wanted to see them fight. Team Raw's side is at a disadvantage. Smart move, if you ask me. That's enough. And there it is. And Regal gets nailed by SmackDown's champion. That did not go as planned. You think? William Regal has been a mentor to the so-called Dark Horse, invading Raw was a slap in the face, and now he just took a literal blow from his supposed friend accidental or not well for now it looks like team smackdown is going to retreat this didn't break into an all-out war but they delivered a strong message here tonight i agree corey we didn't know who would represent the blue brand survivor series and now we know it's going to be an epic battle inside that double-sided cage i can't wait We did what Miz asked, and honestly, it didn't turn out that great. I never wanted to assault William Regal. What do you mean? It was must-see TV! Especially the part when you nailed Regal! Good stuff, pal. Whatever. So what does our genius GM have planned next? And where is he even? I haven't seen him anywhere since I got to the building. Well, with, um... Tensions escalating, and who knows how Raw would retaliate. Miz thought it was better if he stayed home this week. So, he ran away again. Look, what's more important is Regal is sending AJ Styles here for a War Games preview match. And Miz has so much confidence in his team captain that he wants you to decide who should fight Styles. Okay, and you want my decision now? Yes. And Miz also said if you make the wrong call and we lose, then it's completely on you. So choose wisely. Good. I'll let the boss know. After a bit of an invasion on Raw, the phenomenal AJ Styles and his SmackDown opponent are giving us a preview of the upcoming War Games match at Survivor Series. Yeah, these two will compete at Survivor Series, but a singles match can't really reflect the chaos and destruction of War Games. I hear you, Corey, but any good tactician will take any edge they can get to prepare for such a brutal match. Impact in the corner. Trying their opponent's arm out. There's a double stop right down the arm. Boom. Uh, 
Finn Balor to the top rope. Lift off. You gotta be kidding me. Adrenaline can make you do crazy things. Exhibit A right there. Kick to the midsection, full head of steam. What a neck breaker. Oh my gosh. Perhaps a little more determination needed from Styles. Yeah, Balor taking a vicious approach with that maneuver, doing what it takes to produce results. Whipped into the barricade. Goes right through it. Put her in a position now. Ooh. Gets inside the ring. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by countout. Oh, boy. To the announce table now. Oh, uh, yeah. Going to clean it off here. This is going to be dangerous. We knew this superstar had a mean streak. We didn't realize that they were downright ruthless. And he goes into the ring. Wow, what a leg sweep. In the knee here. Oh, that hurt. What's he gonna do here? Trying to debilitate the capability to stand. Ooh. Hamstring crushing knee strikes. Repeated strikes. Just never had a chance to block any of those. No way. Slips on Senton. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Scoop slam sets things up. Battling ringside and our announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Well, I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. Decision-making there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. So much torque on the knee and ankle. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Boom, a forearm smash. And Styles is brought to a disadvantage now. Yeah, Balor's really in command of AJ here. Oh, with authority. Oh, what impact. And he gets set back into the ring. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Sling blade by Finn Balor. Overhead kick finds the mark. Balor is gaining control here, but AJ can't let this flourish. Derail him. Punch straight to the face, staves off the attack. German suplex! Woo! The ref not even getting a one. 
What is it gonna take to put him away? Face first, lethal combination. Styles gets him back. AJ pausing to soak up the adulation of the WWE Universe to let that energy fuel him. Big flying forearm. Cinching in a waist lock, but right hands from the opposition. Sling blade by Finn Balor. And now, oh my God, what a forearm. Right to the jaw. Back with a crucial elbow. Oh, oh, it's, it's cinched in. This could be over. You can see Hulk looking to free the arm and does just that. And Balor's attack gets cut off. Uh oh. Face full of turnbuckle. Oh, goodness. Wasn't expecting a kick to the face. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, it is aggression, just pure brutality. A lot easy. Valor looking to close this one out. 1916. There you have it. Finn Balor locked on his target and exploded. Balor with 1916. Is it enough to put Styles away? And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Whip back into the ring. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Into the ring again. He's heading up top. Thinking. Look out. Oh, man. The table and the body getting well acquainted there. Can only imagine the damage that impact just did. I doubt this will go on for much longer. Where's Finn going now? This is where Finn Balor is home. Balor could take this one. like the phenomenal one if you just lay down and go out easily. What perseverance from Styles. And now's the time where Finn needs to keep the pedal to the metal, sustain his offense. Hooked up. Shin breaker. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. Styles T and Balor up, set to finish things. Catches him with a jawbreaker. Oh, Finn Balor with the overhead kick. Finn looking to put him away. 1916. Finn got all of it. Shoulders down. And a win. That may be one of the biggest wins of his career. Here is your winner. Finn Balor picks up the victory in this dream match against AJ Styles. There was a lot of hype to live up to, but I'm already excited for a rematch.
We got the win against AJ, but War Games is going to be a whole lot tougher. With you and the rest of the crew we have, I like our chances. Same. Although I do wish we weren't fighting on Miz's behalf. I hear you, but it's bigger than that. So how about we win the match, then we'll work on getting our house in order. Deal. The following is a Miz War Games match. The rules of the match are as follows. Two teams will be contained in separate cages with one member of each team starting the match. At regular intervals, alternating members from each team will be released to enter the match. The team with the advantage will be the first to have a member released into the match. Once all competitors have entered, War Games officially begins. The match can be won by pinfall or submission. Exiting the cage results in a forfeit. Now, let the War Games begin! The battle lines are drawn. Red versus blue. Raw versus SmackDown. Champions fill out both sides of the battlefield, but who will lead their team to victory? Call me biased, but I think the WWE Universal Champion has put so much work into building the best War Games team possible that I think SmackDown takes it tonight. But can you imagine the chip on the shoulder of Raw Cappen and World Heavyweight Champion Cody Rhodes? It was Cody who was on the losing end when the Dark Horse became champion so long ago. Cody can exact some revenge tonight. Going for a power slam, steps down the counter into an inverted DDT. blood on the face of Styles. Now that'll do some serious damage. The countdown hurtling towards a shift to the status quo. Effective arm drag. And for the team on the wrong side of this entry, things have gotten that much more grueling. Firm control. Oh, foot meet face. Things are no longer about to be even in this one, and he wants to make sure of that. Come on now. Is it not enough that they're already coming in with an advantage here? Is this really necessary? Enters the ring and is diving head first into the chaos of this match. Boom! Boom, a forearm smash. Oh, there's a response against Finn. coming and answers with the clothesline. Oh man, did you hear the snap of the kendo stick? He gets manhandled over into the opposite That's ring.
save the day and won't be stopped. And set right into the corner. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Dangerous spot for him to be in. AJ capitalizes on that misstep. Sent him clear into the other ring. Oh, right to the side of the face. Unleashing a barrage on their opponent. Turned it into a rocking hit. It's a revolving door of forearms. Listen to the impact. Bam! Will that close Luke out? Finn Balor hooks his man. 19 16. Did Finn clinch this? Oh, uh, look out. Something more. Oh, man. Good grief. Turn your lights out. Great response to AJ there. He's carrying some serious equipment into the cage with him, ready to fully exploit the numbers game. Look at this power slam. Caught in a bad position here. Entering a war zone.
Slam the door shut and brace for impact. War Games are now officially underway. This is the moment it's all been building to. The ultimate test for these teams begins now. First, the knife edge chop, and now continuing the attack on the knee. Straight to the knee. champion. Cody holds on. Is this it? And he nails the crossroads. Could that do One, it? Two, three. It's over. World Heavyweight Champion Cody Rhodes and Team Raw have just defeated the WWE Universal Champion and SmackDown. It's been several years since the legend of the Dark Horse was born, built on a victory over Cody Rhodes that many said was a fluke due to the interference of Roman Reigns. Did the World Heavyweight Champion just prove everyone right? I have a feeling these two will meet again down the line with a lot more at stake. We'll see about that, Michael. Unbelievable. Until then, this is Team Raw and the American Nightmares Night to stand tall over WWE.